Watch me give Cinderella a new updo, like this Cinderella, a front curl updo. So easy. Welcome to part three of this multi Cinderella makeover. I already did this Cinderella in a curly bun. You can see that tutorial in part one. And I did this Cinderella in a high twisted bun. You can see that tutorial in part two. Four different dolls and four different updos. It's this doll's turn. She's a Disney store doll. I found her at the thrift shop. You can see her in our video, Thrift Shop Dolls Part 21. She's in great condition. Her updo is coming apart in the back. I could just redo this and tuck all the hairs back in place, but I'm not. I'm gonna give her a new updo. Her hairband is attached to her head, so I'm just going to leave it. Okay, let's undo her updo. All undone. I've been experimenting with different updos. What I want to do is duplicate Cinderella's hair from the animated Disney movie. I tested the updo on this doll. Yep, same doll as in part two. It doesn't look like much from the front, but check out the side view. Pretty awesome, eh? The shape is held together with hair gel. Okay, let's do this. In part two, I dunk the hair in hot water. For this Cinderella, I'm going to use a flat iron. It's very important to use a flat iron that has adjustable temperature. Turn it on. It'll go back and forth red and green, red and green. When it's ready, it will stay green. It's so important to have it at the lowest setting because the hair on Disney Store dolls is nylon and nylon melts really easy. Trust me on this one. Green light is on. Keep the flat iron moving. You don't want it to stay in one spot very long. It's working really well. Let's comb this. Oops, I should have detangled this first. <laughs> that is a very important first step. Fabric softener. This works better than the hot water dunk. The first part of this new updo is the same as this Cinderella from part two. So I'm going to show you that rolling of the top bun segment from part two. I divided the hair in two sections. The top section starts at the ear. Same on this side. This top section will be put into a bun you'll need a clear elastic. Make a ponytail and wrap the elastic around it loosely. Maybe a couple of times, that's all. You'll need a chenille stem about six inches. Fold it in half like this. Comb the ponytail straight up. Put it between the chenille stem. Squeeze the chenille stem together and roll the hair. When you get to the bottom, bring the chenille stem ends together to form a circle. Put one open end through the loop end 
and twist the two open ends together like this. Bring some of the hair around to the back to fill in that space. It doesn't have to be perfect because it'll be covered up with this bottom section. Now take the bottom section and pull it tightly up over the button. It has to be smooth and tight. Check the back. Make sure it's smooth like this. Back to this Cinderella. We're exactly at the same point of the updo. The back is smooth. Now pull it over the bun. In part two, this is where I twisted the hair, but instead I'm going to hold it temporarily with an elastic. Wrap it around just a couple of times and then pull it under the chin. This is just to hold the hair in place while you work on the hair. The hair's uneven, so I'm just gonna give it a trim. Put some hair gel on this section. You'll need about two inches of a small regular size straw, two regular bobby pins, and two small bun pins. Put the straw underneath. Move the hair towards the center. Use bobby pins at each end to hold the hair to the straw. The bobby pins should be close to the bottom edge of the hair. And roll it really tight, as far as you can go. Get it right up to the bun that's underneath. Hold that straw in place with the bun pins. Push those bun pins into the bun underneath. Put some gel on the hair in the back and some on top. This entire updo is going to be held in place with hairspray or gel. Yep, it's going to be rigid when the gel dries. I'm going to fix the bangs just like I did in part one and part two. Let's take the curlers off. Ooh, I overdid it with the hair gel again. Wow, that's really rigid. I can spray it with a little water. That'll soften it up. In the back, push the pins in. It makes it easier to pull them out. I'm surprised the gel didn't glue these bobby pins in. Slide the straw out. Woohoo! That curl stayed put. Cut off the elastic. Wow! Everything stayed put. You can make minor adjustments. Maybe more gel here to keep the ends in. Alrighty, let's have a look. I put the hairband back in its original position. I'd love to try this updo without the bun underneath, but that means I might have to cut the hair. The back is perfect. This side view is awesome. You've seen three updos for Cinderella. Which is your favorite? The curly bun? The twisted bun? or the front curl updo? Post your answer in the comment section or click on the i-card and take our poll. Do you remember what she looked like before? She was a thrift shop doll that needed her hair fixed. Then I undid her updo and gave her a new updo. You gotta check out the side view. It's so awesome! Thanks for watching and see you again soon. If you like this video, click like. Check out this video. Fairy Godmother, thank you for my new updo. You're welcome, dear. Have a good time at the ball and don't forget to be home by midnight. Um, uh, aren't you forgetting something? Oh my goodness, you need a new dress. Oh, silly me. <laughs>
Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.